So the last game I played at ATL highlighted that there were some duplicate airplanes. So I wanted to take a moment and kind of show the back end a little bit so that you can get an idea of what it looks like. So I'm going to open my ATL folder and I have a bunch of files. Let me bring the game over here. So within the game, you have airfields. These are all the different airports. Uh, I don't own all of these, but they're installed due to uh, real traffic. But if I go under ATL, there's a few files that we need to pay attention to. So first one, we have the terminal assignments. So this lists all of the different terminals. So you've got A North, A South, B North, South, C, and so on down the chain. And then it lists which airplanes, or not which airplanes, which airlines are allowed to utilize each individual terminal. So you can add to these and change them as you desire. Now, before I reinstalled the game, I'd added, uh, I think, DHL? No, I added some Korean cargo and China cargo to uh, Cargo South as well, just to give a bit more activity to it. ABX is that plane in the uh, previous video that got stuck on the southern taxiway trying to turn around for no reason. Not sure why he exited where he did, but that's uh, that's who ABX is. UPS and FedEx appear on the north ones, so I wanted to keep the, uh, the North American companies on the north, and I figured ABX and the other more international and other different vendors would be on the southern side. But anyway, you can add airlines to this. If an airline does not have a terminal assignment, it won't be able to spawn in. Next, we have airplanes, and I think I need, yeah, I got word wrap on. So here, you can tell the game what type of airplanes are there. And I forget the assignments of all of these. I think uh, these over here on the right side tell it which library to use, so which paint scheme and how to design the airplane. So these are all the different airplanes that exist in the game somewhere. Now I've never seen an Antonov, but it is an option within the game that you can have. Same with Beechcraft and other light aircraft Cessnas. Most of these light ones you'd probably see at uh, TIST which is a single runway. It's really dull. There's not a lot of activity. You get like 18 planes in an entire day, so not really worth doing a video of. But these are the airplane assignments. Let me go back into ATL. Uh, nope, that just gives you some of the commands that you can do. So terminal. Next, let's take a look at airlines. These are the files that I was searching to tell me what code matched which brand. So if I come in here, and I forget the one, there it is, Qantas, right here, QFA. So it says Qantas, but in reality, it's Qantas. I know it's not spelled Q-A-N. The pronunciation in-game requires the U there, or it doesn't sound right. Now, this airline doesn't appear at this airport, so I don't really care about fixing it. Eventually, I'll probably go through and mirror the airline fixes that I've done across the board. But for now, I don't care. I just completely reinstalled the game anyway. So right now, I'm just happy to have it working again. So you can see, here's all the different airlines. This is a lengthy, lengthy file. And all of these can be assigned in-game without any real issues. So, and these are, uh, I think these are used for terminal assignments or uh, something in the scheduling. So that's the airlines. No, don't save. And the most important one here is the schedule. So in the schedule, there's a lot of things that are listed here. First, you have the source airport, where it's flying from. Then you have the destination airport, aircraft type, short name for the airliner, flight number, uh, arrivals, I want to say this is arrival time, and then this is departure time. I forget what the one means. I think that's just one airplane. And then, again, it's repeating the uh, airline code. Now, all arrivals default with a departure time of 12. And if I scroll down to the departures, the arrival time is set to 0, and the departure time exists.
I believe I got that the right direction. I'll have to confirm here in a minute. And you can see these are all just comma separated values. Same with all of these files. So if I change the text file to a CSV, I can open it in Excel, sort by the column headers and configure it however I see fit, which makes it a little easy. Now I'm not looking to do that right now. Mostly what I'm trying to do in order to fix my duplicates is I want to look for 21E3. So here's the Delta 2183. It showed up at two minutes after nine on my departure. Now, if I find it again, you can see I've got the exact same airplane at 906 later on. So in order to fix this, I need to pick another number that's not likely to be another, another uh, Delta airline at least in conf conflict here. So there's a couple formulas I could throw into Excel that would just say if this, do VLOOKUPs, all sorts of Excel formulas to validate that I'm not doing anything wrong there. Airplanes usually assign certain numbers to certain groups, but to ensure I don't have a conflict, I could simply add a five there and the game should accept it. And instead of giving me 2183, I'll now have Delta 5183. Now if I search, up again to find my original. He's coming from Orlando. It's supposed to be an A320, but everything uh, that might be an Airbus. Uh, but anyway, it's it's basically the exact same airplane. They basically just copied everything in there. So if I want to tweak this one even further, I can change the airport. I don't know a lot of airport codes. Uh, let's have him. ORD is Orlando. I'll have him come from. I know Delta doesn't fly out of Love Field here in Dallas. But again, I'm just trying to get the schedule functioning. So that's the first duplicate supposedly fixed. The next one was an SWA, which should appear as SA, I think. And that flight number was 139. -er. So here it is from American. This is going to take a while. Oh. Okay, 139, 1, 5, 5, 139, American, 139. No, 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 WN is Southwest, right? Let me pull up uh, airlines. I'm pretty sure I just saw it and skipped it. I'm pretty sure WN. Yeah, Southwest is WN, so I'm just an idiot. So the first one's coming from CMH. I don't know what CMH is. CMH Airport Code. Where are they coming from? John Glenn Columbus. So they're out of Ohio. But 139er is there, so we'll keep the original 139er. There's the other one. Nope, you're not 139er. Okay, so I need to look for the other W1. There's the first one. There's the second one. This one's coming from a different airport. And the time is 916 on this one. The other one looked like an arrival. So this is 916 in the morning. And this is, I'm sorry, the other one was a departure. This is an arrival at 814 in the morning. So those two should not conflict. Let's see if there's any other WNs. Otherwise, I may just leave it and see what happens. Nope, there he is, FLL, arriving, departing from Atlanta to FLL and this is at 909 in the morning so that's not acceptable now I need to pick another flight number let's do 239 and just for giggles here let's do a search for 239 nothing in the down direction 239 239 239 nothing okay so that should be fixed all good. So that should take care of my game here. So what I'm going to do first is back up my ATL file there. Come in here, file, save it. Always back up your files before you mess with them. That way you have a backup. Now I have another backup folder already of all my airports. Basically I just took the entire directory of the extensions here, which is all the planes, all the texture packs, all the airfields, and I just dumped it to my backup. And that's all I'm going to do with this here. I'm just going to move it to my backup folder on my NOS. Um, and that way, if there's a problem with this schedule, I can just simply revert back to the original and I'll be all set. So 
This one's fairly quick. Um, I know it's not the most exciting thing, but this is how the schedules are built. Now, you can go into uh, sites like FlightAware, download all their flight data for airports, and build your own schedules. That's essentially what some of the custom schedules I have downloaded were built from. Um, you can make your own. This isn't exactly rocket science. It's just kind of tedious. Um, and I'm, I'm tempted at some point to come in and uh, mess with some of these to have a little bit of fun, tweak some of the airports a bit. But for the moment, where's 9 a.m.? You can see that for the hour of 9 a.m., this is everything that Atlanta should be sending out. Now, in that game, we did not have this much traffic going out. And that's what I'm talking about in the original videos with the uh, the game being bugged and, and some for some reason not enough actually happening. So we did see a lot of traffic, but I'm pretty sure we did not see all these different planes. Now maybe we did, I'll have to double check the counts, but this screen looks a lot busier than I actually felt like in game. I mean, I've got two planes showing up minimum almost every single minute. And there's no way I was busy. I had maybe one plane every minute, every other minute, with a couple, two or three popping in fairly quickly. If we come up here to the departures, sorry, that was departures. If we come up here to the arrivals, 9 a.m. is here, through here. So again, another massive amount of arrivals. And the only time it really gets busy is once I've cleared enough planes away from the airport that the inbounds can really start racking up. Now some of this could be that there's more planes than available runways and that's just because of the way I ran it. So um, I think the next video I'll go back to normal runway operations with north and south, kind of like how I finished the last round out before I kind of flubbed everything. Hopefully I have fixed my duplicate airplanes. I will do the exact same time frame again just to see if I've cleaned it and we'll hopefully have a positive score instead of a negative 1500 from screwy commands and I think I'll also go through and retrain windows again to recognize my voice. So hope you found this informative and we'll see you at the airport next time. Thank you for watching.